What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are once again talking about another player the Detroit Lions acquired this offseason. And man, we are getting down to the end. I think this possibly could be the last player we talk about. It's crazy. We've done videos on every single player when we look at film. We've done every single player. I think. I think we've done them all. If I missed any, definitely comment below. I think I've done them all, at least the main ones for sure. So today we're talking about Daron Harmon, man. We're about to wrap up the series. It's kind of sad, but it is exciting. So let's get it started. Welcome in everybody to another video. Glad that you guys are here. And yes, as I mentioned before, man, we're near the end of this. So if there's any other player you guys want to hear about, you can probably find the video. If there is no video on it, well, let me know because then we got to do a video on that player. I think Elijah Lee is one of those guys that we could do one on, but I don't think there's a lot to look at for Elijah Lee. Possibly. Hey, if you guys want to see the Elijah Lee video, definitely I'll bring it to you guys. Now, before we get this thing started, I had someone in my last video ask about the Lions versus Rest shirt that I was wearing yesterday. If you guys want any kind of apparel that I wear, click the link in the description. I mean, this isn't going to be there this is the incredibles but there's certain you know apparel that i wear a lot of it actually that is on the shop so if you guys are on mobile click the title it should drop down in the description there's a lot in the description but there is a link at the scroll down a little bit that says uh dodge shop dodge shop you can look it up on google too just dodge shop and you guys will find my shop and there's different apparel there i'm still coming out with new ones but that's what we have right now and alliance versus fresh shirt should be on there so if you want that one there you go we also have one shirt that's on sale for like 12 bucks right now it's pretty crazy so yeah you guys can definitely go all over there and uh, check those things out if you guys want to get anything so i thought i'd just point it out obviously the fan and fan network is going to be kicking off soon so make sure you guys go follow our twitch link is also in the description and yeah man let's just hop right into this we have to talk about Duran Harmon today so Duran Harmon was one of the Detroit Lions offseason additions but he wasn't like the other ones right he wasn't just a free agent signing and he wasn't a draft pick instead Duran Harmon was a player that we traded for a safety from New England now this pick I feel like this move kind of went on the radar I think because we did trade for him we swapped some late round picks but the main reason that the New England Patriots did this deal is because they had free up some cap space I heard the New England Patriots had like no money whatsoever and they had to free up cap space and when the short lines offered to trade for Daron Harmon Bill Belichick was all over it. Even when Duran Harmon talked about being traded to the Detroit Lions and what Bill, Bill Belichick said to him, he brought up how Bill Belichick said they, they had to do this for money purposes. They have to make this move happen. So they traded Duran Harmon to save some cap and the Detroit Lions got a safety in return for just, you know, I think it was just a couple of late round picks swaps. So that's, that's all it really was. It didn't take too much for the Detroit Lions. His contract hit for 2020 is 4.25 million. So not that bad, but I believe it is up on the 2021 season. So it's just basically a short-term deal for a safety but I do think this is kind of like a win now type of move he's a veteran safety that was drafted back in 2013 so he's the same age as Darius Slay so I think this is a win and now move and when you watch Daron Harmon this is something that the Detroit Lions desperately need in the back end now unfortunately for Daron Harmon and in today's video there's not tons of clips that I can really show you guys I mean I'm going to show you guys a couple of highlights a couple of things I like a couple of things maybe I didn't like but there's not a ton to show you because the position that he plays as a safety is basically a free safety for the New England Patriots when he's just way off the ball he's the last line of defense there's not tons to look at because he's not riot racking up tons of tackles, right? I mean, I don't even think he hit 20 tackles last season. It was like 13. I mean, there's just not tons of stats to look at. There's not tons of plays to look at for him around Harmon. And a lot of plays, he's really not involved in the play. So because of that, there's not tons I'm going to get to show you in today's video. So it's probably going to be a little bit shorter. But mainly, this move to me is actually not only big for the Detroit Lions, but really big for Tracy Walker and Will Harris. That's who this move actually impacts. And I think it impacts them in a very good way. Tracy Walker and Will Harris are not not like Daron Harmon. Daron Harmon, like I said, is like that last line defense, that free safety. It reminds me a little bit of Glover Quinn. That's what I get a little feeling of of Glover Quinn. I'm watching him like a veteran safety, a very smart safety. And I've talked about it. Ever since we lost Glover Quinn, that was a huge blow. And then all of a sudden we trade away Quandre Diggs. So we didn't have any veteran safeties in the back end. No one that was proven in the back end. We threw Tracy Walker into the fire. He did well, but we just threw him out there as a starter in his second year. Will Harris now is a still a very, very young safety and he had a bigger role. So now all of a sudden you bring and Daron Harmon and this opens up those guys to play how they want to play right I mean Tracy Walker is a strong safety this guy will man-to-man -man wide receivers tight ends he's a really good hitter he's almost like a little bit of linebacker just a little undersized at that safety position so he's really good at dropping down to the box things like that that's not Daron Harmon's role and I think Will Harris is a little bit more of Tracy Walker as well so for me those two safeties are going to actually benefit from this move and they'll also get to learn from a great guy like Daron Harmon now one of the main reasons that the Lions brought in Daron Harmon was because of the mentality that he brought to the football game. Matt Patricia talked 
and praised Duran Harmon a lot. Now, Duran Harmon was also excited to get here. He said he was very excited that he was traded to the Detroit Lions. It was a lot to take in at once because I believe he was at the dentist while this was happening, but he was very excited to be traded to the Detroit Lions and get to work with Matt Patricia again. As we know, they're familiar. Matt Patricia was the Patriots defensive coordinator um, up until 2000, through the 2017 season that he became the Lions head coach. So he worked with Duran Harmon and uh, I had to go back and watch a couple of those games as well to see if they utilized him any differently. Not really, but yes, he was excited to be traded to the Detroit Lions because he gets to work with Matt Patricia again. That's probably the one place if he had to leave uh, New England, that's probably where he would want it to go and he ended up with the Detroit Lions. And Matt Patricia really speaks highly of Duran Harmon a lot. He loves his mentality, his leadership presence. I mean, you look up what Matt Patricia thinks of Duran Harmon, that's all you're going to find is him praising him. I mean, there's stories of him in the locker room talking to the team at the halftime game and saying, hey, we're going to go win this game. And then all of a sudden, while he's walking away, he, he hears Duran Harmon hyping everybody up. This is that guy. And he says, it's just different. He has a winning, there's a winning culture that they built in New England with these guys like Duran Harmon. That's one of the main reasons brought him in because of the winning culture that he's trying to build. And that's why we've seen players move in, players move out. Um, a guy like Duran Harmon brings that to the table for Matt Patricia, at least that's what he says, because he felt like with that group that they had, defensively, they were never out of the game. It was like it was two different games. You know, he could believe that they could come back and win any single game because the mindset was just different with New England. Everybody believed that they could win every game. And that led to him to coming back from 28 to three down. And at halftime, really almost shutting out the new Atlanta Falcons second half. They were down 21 to three at half. They ended up winning 34 to 28. So they really almost shut them down in the second half. Huge, huge second half for them to come back and beat the Atlanta Falcons into that Super Bowl game. So that's one of the main reasons they brought in Deron Harmon. Now let's talk about what I took away from him on the field. He is six foot one, 205 pounds. As I mentioned, drafted back in 2013 out of Rutgers. He is known as the closer. He's known as a closer because he closes off games with his interceptions, big plays at the end of games. And again, if that doesn't remind you a little bit of Glover Quinn, I don't know what does. Glover Quinn to me was like a closer, right? This was a veteran safety that would make big plays at the end and seal the deal. Kind of like a James ahead of just stuff like that, right? These veteran safeties, they may not be the most athletic anymore. They may have taken a step back, but you see with corners, safeties, sometimes they're not the most athletic guys, but they'll play that deep safety position. They can read the quarterback size. They're very, very smart. They're really intelligent and they can make big plays at the end of games and seal them. And that's what Deron Harm brings to the table that we really didn't have last year. We didn't have guys that could close the game and now we have the closer. I mean, what better player could we have brought in? A team that literally was leading and like almost every single game last year and we only won three games I mean, the closer is just the perfect player to bring in. So you bring in a closer uh, defensively. Now let's talk Let's talk about what I took away from him on the field. Back in 2017 was the last year that he was with Matt Patricia. He actually wore the number 30 that year. I thought I'd just point that out. Great at reading the quarterback size. Again, these older safeties that are really smart safeties that have been there for a while are really good at reading the quarterback size. And one team that I see him have a lot of success, success against is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Ben Roethlisberger stares a, lot, stares a lot of passes down. And that's okay. Some quarterbacks do, some quarterbacks don't. He stares them down a lot. He knows where he wants to go with it. He'll look there and he'll fire it there. He'll look there for a few seconds. And Deron Harmon is really good at reading that and getting near the play. And once he's near the play, he can make a play on the ball. Sometimes the tip goes right to him. He actually had two picks in one game against the, against the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers in 2018. Big plays against the Steelers because of that reason. Really good at reading the quarterback's eyes, okay? I mean, when a quarterback gives it away, sometimes secondary players can jump on it. And that's what I love. I've seen that a lot. And I'm like, okay, he really reads it because he'll move as, as the quarterback moves. Now, good quarterbacks, you know, sometimes they can look one way and then go right back to the other and then the safety's out of position they kind of move the safety with their eyes is what people always talk about well Deron Harmon is really good at watching those quarterbacks eyes he's not a full-on starter he wasn't a full-on starter with at least with the New England Patriots in 2019 I would say in 2018 a lot more I haven't actually looked at the snap count though however in 2019 he was kind of rotational um you know because they would rotate through a couple of safeties that they did have but this will allow the Lions to run some three safety sets that they're looking to run uh they do have three solid safeties J. Ron Curtis could potentially make the team I like I said like Tracy Walker Will Harris but now with Will Harris Tracy Walker and Deron Harmon I think that's a really really good safety group and then plus J. Ron Curtis who's like a he's almost like a linebacker size you got some guys that you can mix in there as well. So I think this opens up three safety sets for the Detroit Lions. Another thing is his pass pursuit. He makes a really good angles, really good pursuit on the ball when the ball is in the air. Really good at that, okay? It's because he's not the fastest safety you will find, but he's really good at taking the right angles when the ball is in the air to get in position where if the wide receiver did catch it, he would be there to get in a position to potentially have an interception or make a pass deflection. However, against the run, at times I see him sometimes take bad angles. And the reason I think sometimes he takes these bad angles because sometimes it just happens. It just happens. And other times I think because he maybe thinks he's a little bit faster than he is, depends who the running back is, 
and he'll get in a bad position and all of a sudden he's trailing and the running back will score. So I see that a couple of times against the run. That would be one little concern I do have when it comes to pursuit, but against the pass, I think he's really, really good. He's a pretty good and secure tackler. Doesn't miss a lot of tackles. Not the biggest hitter. Okay, you can tell he's not the biggest hitter. He's not a very big guy and he's, I mean, he tries. I mean, he, he hits guys a couple of times pretty hard, but usually just knocking him out of bounds. But he's a good wrap-up tackler. You know, if it's in the field, if it's not near the sideline, he's good at wrapping up, you know, make sure, making sure the play doesn't go any further than it has to be. Because, again, he's the last line defense usually, and his and his job isn't to, oh, knock the dude out, you know, force a fumble. His job back there is, hey, hey, if the ball's that far, if it gets to you, just bring him down, okay? they We do not want them to score. Bring him down any way you can. So he's pretty good at that. Not the biggest hitter, but he's pretty good at bringing down players. But, again, at his position, you're not expecting a big hitter. Tracy Walker, more of a big hitter because of how he plays not necessarily to run Harmon you just want him to be able to tackle which he does uh pretty well I think he's a uh, big moment player right this guy is clutch there's a reason he's nicknamed the closer and again like I said this is what we need in the back end we lost Clover Quinn it hurt you know he retired Clover Quinn was great we uh had Quandre Diggs trade away that's a tough loss even if the relationship wasn't great it was still a tough loss for the Detroit Lions and now they get that better and back in the building with experience to help out those young guys and also be a closer for the Detroit Lions we get a hey, I love that that's a great I love that nickname. Very reliable and durable type of player. Not a lot of injury concerns, nothing like that. Knock on wood, he's been pretty good. Uh, very reliable player. You can consistently count on him to make plays. You know, he's just, he's just consistent. He's a very consistent in the back end. And, you know, I don't have too many weaknesses that I took away because I just don't, I don't see him a lot involved in tons of plays. I mean, his job is to be the last line to jump on routes, make good decisions there. Against the run, I would say there are concerns at times, but he's a good tackler. If he makes the right angle, he's a good tackler. He's not the most athletic safety anymore. He's a little bit older, not the fastest guy in the back end. But he's smart, and that's what the Lions need. I don't think tons of weaknesses here. And I think, it's, again, this is a win-now type of move. I mean, his contract isn't very long for the Detroit Lions. But if you look at a lot of Lions contracts, a lot of them aren't super long. Uh, these guys are uh, for winning now. I think Daron Harmon is one of those guys for that as well. Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn know they need to win games, right? They don't have to win the Super Bowl, but they got to win some games if they want to be back. And I love this team. I love how we are building it. I think that this is a uh, different culture that we're going to have next year. I mean, if you look across the board for this entire team, all these guys, to me, I think are all bought in. They are all bought into winning games and that this team can be successful. Obviously, all the Patriots are. And then you get the guys that are returning. Tracy Walker, you know, he believes in it. You got Jeffrey Okuda. He's going to buy in as a rookie with the number three pick, right? We put a lot of trust in him. Justin Coleman, a former Patriot that we signed. Desmond Trufant. I mean, all of these guys, for me, I think this team is built to win. The winning culture is coming in, and we'll see how it performs. Sometimes you don't need to have the most talented team, right? You don't need to have the best, the most top 100 players. A lot of times, you just need guys that play well together, and that's what it's about, right? It's that chemistry. You know, you don't need Pro Bowl lineup defensively. We've seen the Patriots win with players that aren't that great or just kind of come out of nowhere because they play well together. They get them in the right positions, and uh, the Lions have a lot of guys that they can move around. And I think Matt Patricia is loving his defense right now. So, for me, I love the move. Deron Harmon was awesome. Not super expensive. We didn't give up to trade for him, and I do think it is a very, very big move. One of the most underrated moves, underappreciated, I would say, moves that the Lions made this offseason. And it just went under the radar. You know, it just went really under the radar because uh, it was kind of quiet, right? A little, a little trade here and there, but there was other big signings around it. So very quiet move. Great move, however, and I love Deron Harmon. I think this is one of the top. If you if you're talking about the Lions moves this offseason, easily would be in the top five additions the Lions made. Easily up there with Jamie Collins and Danny Shellen, easily in the top five. So let me hear your thoughts, comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'm out.